Okay guys, welcome back. Finally an update again. Sorry for the lack of pictures and everything else, but it's not like we've been doing nothing. Uh, I wanted to show you guys the progress on Lord Vader. Here you can see the, the helmet and the neck part um, that I made just to, well, stand and look cool in the workroom. It's a Ruby Supreme Edition that I edited heavily, and I'm going to show you some of the parts that I changed, edited, well, whatever. Here you can see the belt boxes are pretty much the same as they came out of the crate, so nothing fancy with that. Made a little saber clip so the lightsaber can hang on it. And here's the glove that came with the costume. It's vinyl, um, uh, tra trash can bag, plastic. It's nah, it's not good. Here's mine. Made out of vinyl as well. Uh, I went for the horizontal stripes from A New Hope to really, well, look different from the vertical stripes on the main bodysuit. I think they're pretty cool. And I also added a little 9 volt battery clip inside one of the gauntlets that you can, well, remove if you want to. Uh, let me show you what it does. Here's the 9 volt battery. There's a little clip on the inside here. You can just press the battery on. And what I really wanted was to have a cool lightsaber hilt. Because I'm not going to walk around on a convention with the, the saber drawn out with the cling in it. So I wanted a cool hilt that I made out of a simple toy thingy. And what you can do with it now is that here's the plastic red tube from a neon light that I kind of demolished. Put a little uh, lead strip in it, and now when you attach the wire, um, well, there's actually some light coming from the lightsaber. So when you do a photo shoot or whatever, uh, there's going to be a natural red hue uh, coming from the lightsaber, which is going to save a ton of Photoshop work. So uh, this is really just for photo shoots, and uh, but I love it. It's uh, it's pretty cool, and it's a pretty cheap solution uh, in comparison to the FX lightsabers or whatever. Here's the comma that I made myself. There's eight meters of textile in it, and I still have to do the cape, which is also quite a uh, quite a bit of work. The undersuit came with it, just painted it. There's the chest box, added a little light to it, and some weathering, um, and it looks pretty cool together, as you can see right here. And two meters and five centimeters tall as Vader. Then also still working on the hand stitching for uh, the Geralt woven gear from The Witcher. Here's the, the, the threading I'm using and the iron wiring is actually to pull the, the threading through the needle, uh, which saves you a ton of time. And as you can see here, oh look, that's what we've had. As you can see here, the, uh, uh, well, the hand stitching is going pretty well and I'm going to continue on this pretty soon. But uh, first things first, and here's the last thing we did, there's a little embroidery on the blanket for the baby crib. So it's gonna be pretty soon now. So we're very anxious. See you soon.